Geminis, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you're currently not aware of. Let's start with my Oracle deck and then we'll get into the tarot. But I hope that you guys are excited for the month of April. I am too. Okay, hopefully we have some positive energy and not hopefully, we are manifesting positive energy in the month of April and blessings and, and all of that, all right? But any information that you may be looking for uh, to follow me on my other YouTube YouTube channels. I have an astrology channel, a pick card channel that's going to have so much content. That will be below as well as my Patreon, my Instagram, literally everything will be under my Linktree link. Uh, if you would like to see more readings from me, make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss a beat and let's jump straight in. So the first card I have for you guys, we have succulents and this represents resilience. So what you're currently not aware of, the fact that you keep going, the fact that you keep being dedicated to your journey, your business, your uh, elevation, your spirituality, whatever this is, you're going to be greatly rewarded for that, okay? Especially if you guys have been putting in the work day in, day out. And even if this isn't necessarily anything that you're physically manifesting, you being resilient, regardless of the emotional challenges you've been experiencing or the mental challenges, there is going to be this overall growth that you guys are going to be experiencing, okay? Sorry, we got cut off, but um, <laughs> I want to use this analogy. So in order for diamonds to be, be created, there has to be pressure applied. Same thing in regards to crystals. And for a lot of you, the pressure may have been on. And the fact that you have been able to be resilient and regardless of the fact that you've been experiencing these obstacles or these challenges, this is going to amount to overall growth, period. So this, this is interesting already. We also have sunflower, which represents action. So what you're currently not aware of, your body may be craving for you to move, to get active. If you've been feeling very sad, anxious, depressed, worrisome, your body may be craving for you to move or to get in action, okay? What you could be not aware of is the fact that your body could be screaming to you that it needs to express its creativity. You need to, you know, move your body eat cleaner but yeah most importantly this feels like you guys are being pushed urged to take action on certain things and that may be why the pressure sometimes feels like it's on and we also have crown this represents personal power so this is knowing who you are showing up what you're currently not aware of is you guys are going to have to show up and show out in the future and you guys are going to be stepping into a space of either naturally shifting into your personal power again if you've kind of lost your footing for a second or being put in positions to where you're going to have to step into your personal power especially for my gemini's who are trying to get a job change trying to maybe relocate uh i'm just getting the sense of you having to be very courageous in this energy this is giving like the strength card energy to me and the last card we have for you, Geminis, we have Traffic Cone, and this represents caution. So this is making sure that you are, well, let me say this, what you're currently not aware of, there may be certain ways that your spirit guides could be protecting you and sheltering you from certain outcomes. There also may be certain precautions that you guys may have to take in the future in order to make sure things go right. So for example, this could be you having to take the precaution to um, maybe fix your car if you're going on some sort of road trip so that you don't run into any issues later. Or uh, there may be certain issues around the house that if not dealt with, there could be a bigger issues that uh, bigger issues that manifest that you may not be aware of. Things like that. Anything that also comes up to your awareness uh, during this time frame, this is you. Like I said, needing to make sure that you handle it in reasonable time so that it doesn't become more of a bigger issue. 
And this may even be something that you guys already have some sort of alert about. Okay, let's keep going. Geminis, what are they currently not aware of? So we have the devil card in reverse. I love that. And the full card. So you guys are going through some sort of new start breakthrough especially if you've been tied to a toxic a toxic uh family dynamic relationship mindset habits okay this is you finally breaking the chain hmm. if you felt limited if you felt like you had to play by you know certain rules or felt stuck you could be breaking those chains as well and just having this new pep pepping your step especially with the full card representing aries energy and we are in aries season all right gemini's so we have the moon card queen of wands the two of swords and the strength card here Yeah, if there's any secrets that a Aries Sagittarius or Leo has been keeping from you, uh, this person will not be able to keep it from you any longer. I think that that will either come out or you could have somebody around you under that zodiac sign where it could seem like they're avoiding you or they're moving secretively, but there, there could be a lot that's going on with that person that you're not aware of at this moment. And they just don't know how to mentally deal with it. Another thing I'm picking up on, I just get the sense that, and then what's so funny, we have the strength card that showed up and we also have crown that showed up earlier. And I did say it was giving me like the strength card energy. So it's so funny that it did manifest in the reading. But again, I just get the sense that you guys are going to have to step out on a level of faith with some sort of decision or move that you're about to make and it could be kind of scary but and you being in a space of confliction or holding off on a decision because you don't know what's on the other side of making it could hold you back so let's keep going i want to pull from here gemini sun moon rising and venus placement okay we have two cards that fell let me try to get it so first card we have is clean energy food. And we also have words of abundance. So this goes back into what I was saying earlier about being aware of what you're putting into your body um, and also energetic imbalances where you guys may be needing to move your body be aware of what's going into your body, all of that. And that could be contributing to what's stressing you out or what's making you anxious. So again, another confirmation what you're not aware of, maybe switching up your diet a little bit could help you feel a lot better energy wise um, and, and clear out a lot of just energetic blockages. Also with words of abundance, this is speaking abundance over yourself. Okay, be aware of the words that you speak. Are you speaking optimistically over your situation or are you speaking from a place of doubt, uh, worry, lack? If so, what you're not aware of, this could be, you know, causing you to push your opportunities away, if anything. And we also have organized for success. I love that. So for my Geminis who are business owners, content creators, just trying to make something out of yourself, you guys need to in the future especially especially with new opportunities that could be coming in organize for your success meaning making time prioritizing what's important and what's not important being you know bump bumped to the bottom of the line okay you guys are gonna have to put things in place and, and really plan uh, to make certain things happen, especially if you are trying to relocate, move, create a business, upgrade a business, whatever this may be. But overall, this is what I see. I hope that this reading was helpful, beneficial to you. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs it up, subscribe so you never miss a beat, and I will see you in the next one.